This is Pickens County in the upstate of South Carolina. Our area is known for low taxes in a right to work state, set in the beautiful Chocasi Gorges mountain region. What makes us attractive to business, however, is the solid commitment of our educational system to the business community. In Pickens County, we are developing a workforce for you. When businesses are looking for a new place to call home, their first concern is finding skilled labor. In Pickens County, students are taught how to interact not only with technology, but with people. In Pickens County, South Carolina, we believe in developing a workforce for you. And we start in, in the elementary school level. We do it from the K through 12 in our Pickens County Public Schools to grade 13 and 14 in our Tri-County Technical College. We are now at the tail end of a $374 million new school building construction program, wherein we've built uh, four new high schools and a state-of-the-art technical high school uh, that in South Carolina it has, has no peer. Whether the elementary school students are learning engineering skills, building jet toys for the Society of Automotive Engineers, or whether they are building robots in the higher grades, in the first robotics program, and also in the Lego League program, we are cognizant of the fact that young technicians are at a premium. Here in Pickens County, we hear that. We're looking to meet that need by starting really in the elementary school and educating and training students, young people, uh, from the ground up on how to solve problems with their minds and their hands, think critically, think analytically, and develops a technical skill that is required in the marketplace today. Pickens County is committed to working with area businesses as we develop our scholar technicians. Recently, Cornell Dubelier approached our mechatronic students at the Pickens County Career and Technology Center with a problem their engineers simply did not have the time to solve. They needed the students to program an old robot to weld a modern-day capacitor. There was no one that knew how to work it. We had to go through the books, figure it out ourselves, and move forward. So within three weeks, they had this robot programmed and welding within three weeks. And there was no way we possibly could have done that, because we would have had to do all the research, figure out how to do it. And these kids worked on it, it seems like they were working on it eight hours a day. But for them to do it in three weeks and to get it programmed correctly to work was astonishing. The robot that we have works with a welder and a PLC, programmable logic controller, to run the welder, weld the capacitor, and spit it out all by itself. It's completely automated. You touch a button and it runs by itself. And we use this with 20-year-old technology that hasn't been touched in who knows how long because of our exposure with these kids, they were so good, and we realized that their skill sets were better than some of our machinists. Because a lot of our machinists are older, and they don't have the computer skills, they don't have the programming skills, and in a couple of years, we're gonna to have to replace some. So we decided to bring on two apprenticeships. Pickens County is one of the first counties in the state to offer registered apprenticeship programs with area businesses. United Tool and Mold was our first apprenticeship program. We chose Pickens County because of the, the, the quality of student that, that we're seeing coming out of the machine tool technology program. So we wanted this to be our first partnership with the youth apprenticeship program. They came after us and made us feel wanted and that we had a, a reason to be in that program and that there was a demand for us. This is long term. This is not to get you through high school to see what work's about. Um, it's a definite career path that we have with the individuals that we choose. I do some work on tools and um, basic machining and um, anything that needs to be done that they feel I'm appropriate for doing. Toby's plans are He's going to co-op with us, graduate from high school, have a nice, enjoyable summer working, and then he'll start at Tri-County Tech, where he'll take a two-year machine tool technology degree, and then probably be almost done with our adult apprenticeship program by the time he gets out of, 
of uh, Tri-County Tech. So this is an investment we're making in our future and also in the future of the students that we choose to join our STRA program. Our educators in the kindergarten through technical college system understand their responsibility to the business community. We've had a, a great focus on science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. A lot of times people feel like that's something that you would do with students in middle and high school. But we understand the importance of starting our students very early um, in elementary school to help them understand that they have to be um, problem solvers, that they need to think critically about what they're doing, not only to understand um, by a lecture or a textbook a standard, but really to have the opportunity to see how that standard um, impacts the real world. It seems that the kids coming out today have a much broader skill set. They're good at programming, they're good at CAD, their the communications, their group skills are fantastic. Businesses like ours that are in manufacturing, that are fighting every day to find that good skilled labor, we can see that being nurtured and grown from kindergarten all the way up within the school district and that's something that excites us and that's something that we want to be a part of. We see our relationship with K-12 as promoting the common good. We're actually reaching closer and deeper into the high school looking at dual enrollment opportunities that are not just courses for the sake of courses but they're very purposeful courses structured in such a way that they'll be students will receive credit at the high school but also credit with us and lead into degrees, diplomas, and certificates as they come to us. And may even lead to students finishing high school with a certificate at least, if not a diploma or a degree from us, by doing dual enrollment in some of our manufacturing related programs in particular. Every program we have has an advisory board, an advisory panel made up of people in the field. If it's a medical field, that's a medical folk. People that are working day to day. If it's heating and air or welding or machine tool or you fill in the blank, mechatronics, we have an advisory committee of people who do that for a living. Trust me, we have employers that are quick to tell us if something's not working. If there's a particular placement exam, if you will, that an employer might have, if our students are performing, they're sure to tell us. If they're not performing, not only will they let us know, but they'll let us know at what particular granular level so we can address curriculum issues. And there's strong competition for our students, and we're, that's what it's all about. We want them to be prepared. And at the end of the day, if they're getting jobs and the employees are happy with what they're doing, then that speaks volumes to us. From this point forward, I plan on attending Tri-County Tech for the next couple years and using the Life Scholarship to pay for that education. I would like to stay with Cornell for a couple more years and gain more experience in the field of mechatronics. And after that, the world is mine to conquer. <laughs>